My uncle is a nightmare to buy for. I think that's more to do with my aunt than my uncle. Uh, shirts, shorts, he seems to have everything, which is why I suppose some of his shorts get handed down to me after they spend their peak years with him. I called my aunt, or I had called her a number of times over the last week or so since my uncle's birthday. You know, every time I saw something that I might think my uncle would like, I'd call her, try to make sure that I had my uncle's size right, whether it was the shorts or the t-shirts. And it's always the same on the phone. You don't need to buy him nothing. I always get into the same back and forth with her. I'm rarely on time with my uncle's birthday present. I'm always late. Most years I'm always late. And I'm thinking now that might be because I'm usually still trying to get a present for him for the previous birthday and my aunt slowed me down because she's still refusing to tell me what he needs. And on Tuesday, I knew that I was seeing them after my trip to Wandsworth Town and I wasn't going to turn up there with nothing. I said to her, look, I'm going to buy him something. I was calling her from Sports Direct in Wandsworth Town. I'd spotted a, a Slazenger t-shirt for him which was really high up actually on a display. And you had, I don't know what they call it in retail, one of those long poles with a hook, which you would use to bring that shirt down from the uh, top row of the display. And I've never seen this before in a shop. It was the customers who were having to use that pole if they saw something they wanted that was high up. And I thought, I'm not gonna be touching that. There's been some you know, guy in his 60s handling that. He was going mad for a bunch of uh, sportswear items, which he may have been too old for, he may not have been too old for, but, uh, you know, the effort of stretching up with that pole, he wasn't the tallest guy, that was probably going to be causing him to sweat a bit more as well in this heat. Hygiene-wise, pandemic-wise, uh, not a, a good situation to be following that man's uh, pole handling. So I'd called my aunt from Sports Direct, I'd spotted a, a Slazenger top for my uncle, a blue Slazenger top. Relatively smart. He's not a T-shirt guy, but this had a V-neck. Might have been more comfortable for him. He's got loads of stuff he doesn't wear, said my aunt. Maybe he'll wear this, I put in. When you come round, I'll show you your uncle's wardrobe. I don't need to see his wardrobe, I replied. I just need to get him something. Now, either you tell me what he needs or I'm coming back with this very unfashionable sportswear item. I think the message finally got through. I think my aunt could tell I was uh, frustrated. She was racking her brain and then she finally came up with something. Brute. What? Como se dice? Uh, brute. Uh, brute. Brute. That thing for after shaving. I don't know why I did that uh, English Spanish accent there. Uh, very inconsistent. Apologies for that. Brute. I heard my uncle in the background. Brute? Eso! That's it, said my aunt. All right, now we're getting somewhere, I thought. So I went back into the big Sainsbury's in Wandsworth Town, next door to Sports Direct. I'd already been in there. I was back in there again. And thankfully, the men's toiletry section is uh, fairly near the uh, entrance. I saw the brute aftershave there. Seven pounds. F*** that, I thought. That's more than my Patreon. 